Well, at the time, I, I kept going back. I had a good friend. Um, he's still a, one of my best friends uh, that was very captivated by the Orthodox Church as well. He had been looking into it a little longer than I had. I'd spent some time at monasteries, and he would go to this church quite frequently, and so I would go with him. Um, and, you know, he, we would have great discussions. And it, It's one of those interesting things, though, and... You know, when I say this, I can already imagine some of my Protestant listeners really cringing and maybe some of my Orthodox saying like, yes, this is kind of the way it goes. But I remember uh, like kissing an icon walking in as, as people do at one point after many services, probably before I had the theology all worked out in my head. Um, you know, I, I wasn't thinking it was idolatry, but I, I don't think I'd fully kind of internalized the arguments for it at that point. But there was kind of some some pull to that, and people can interpret that perhaps as they wish. Um, but but later on, I came to find the the arguments for the veneration of icons kind of to be intellectually satisfying as well. Um, you know, I still have questions ar- around some of like the exact claims of historicity on it, but uh, it, you know it. Whether or not it's theological development or not, I think if it was, it's a fair one. Um, and I'll say, you know, still even today, there's questions in my head around the difference between a practice being kind of like theologically okay and maybe even good in some ways, uh, but wondering if there's certain instances where without the proper understanding, it could be maybe pastorally difficult for some people, um, where if, if you're not understanding how kind of the... Um, the honor given to it is passing on to that, like that you're not, it's not just about the, the wood or whatnot. Like, of course there could be pitfalls, but there could be pitfalls with any belief uh, not properly misunderstood. So I guess that was kind of my experience with it. Just to generally say, I, I was really taken in by the liturgy, really enjoyed it. Icons took some time and probably won my heart before my head. Um, but today, uh, I don't actually know if people can see any of the icons in the background. There's one up here. Uh, it's, I can never point right when it's mirrored like this. Um, it, it's <laughs> yeah. Christ calming the storm, and then I've got a little icon corner over there that's out of the shot, um, mm-hmm. but it is definitely part of my devotional life. Mm-hmm. I mean, icons, I mean, they're beautiful. I, I think if we understand them as, as being, you know, windows to heaven um, and just offering offering love to that person the same way I offer love, um so, you know, my mother or, or my grandmother, whomever, that could have half passed away, you know. Um, the fact that Christ was incarnate, he has blessed the material world, right? And now uh, we, ha- we have a choice where, uh, or we hold like matter uh, as a means to get to God, right? And I, I think it's, it's very simple, rather than matter having uh, a specific value in itself, which would be unholy in this understanding. Um, so I think, I mean, it's very clear historically, though, like that, you know, icons have been there f- for a long time. However, it wasn't uh, only in the Orthodox churches, actually. If you think about it, um, most of the world were illiterate at the time. Mm-hmm. So often what used to happen is that they would um, draw things on the wall. Right for people to understand what is it that is happening. So this happened in the churches early on in the centuries. It happened in the synagogues. It happened in pagan temples. It was all over the place because it was the means to convey a message that ninety-five percent of the people will not be able to understand otherwise. Right. So um, I think sometimes I feel uh, that that you know some people are, are they, they cringe too much when it comes to that, but in, in reality, you know, it, it's, it's much simpler. And obviously, if your intention is not to worship that icon or the saint for that matter or whomever, right, then there's no real big deal there, right? I don't know if this is like, um, you were, it seems like you were not necessarily someone that um, held on to that line of thought uh, with a certain level of aggressive aggressivity, I guess, like you were a bit more open or flexible to the idea. Am I right? Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely true. Um, I think that's probably for a couple of reasons. Some of that, again, could be down to just my disposition. I've always been a, a very curious person to, to learn more. And I had actually, I didn't include this in the story, but um, an interesting part of kind of my journey of looking into various Christian traditions was when I was uh, in that period where I was working for the church and I said they made the mistake of letting me teach. Uh, at one point they asked me to teach a series on 
not just other faiths, but on other denominations, with essentially the the underline being like, and why we're right. Um, and I was, I was working at the church at the time and I told him, look, like I'll, I'll consider teaching this, but the only way I'm doing it is if I get to actually meet with people from all these faiths first and, and actually talk with them. And so along that I met with an Orthodox priest, uh, which is a wonderful experience, I ended up not teaching the series, uh, kind of as they asked and kind of, uh, putting it in a different direction. Cause I just realized like how, how ludicrous it would be for, for me at, yeah. at that age with that level of understanding to try to do that. Um, but so I think I've always been curious to, to learn from other people, but I think also um, I I didn't see it as idolatry at the time. I think it was more of just this sense of this is different and I don't know fully what to do with that. And I recognize it's not something that, that I fully understand yet. And so I was apprehensive about it, um, but I don't think I was aggressive in that like this is this is idolatry as some people might might feel walking into a orthodox church for the first time yeah 